Hey Libras, welcome to your general reading for August. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately, but I do personal readings and my email is in the description box as always. Sorry for this angle of the camera guys, I explained in the other video um, why we're doing it like this. So let's see what we have for Libras. Okay, you. Yeah. Religious factors. Okay, so your love life is being affected by your religious upbringing and your spiritual path here. So it could mean that the person is a different race from you, or it could just be that at the moment you're more focused on your spiritual path than what just fell out. <laughs> Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So yeah, it could just be your spiritual path that... Um, Maybe you need to reconcile with somebody or sort something out. You have unfinished business with somebody um, before um, moving on or sorting things out, getting back together. So, um, yeah, you have some unfinished business with somebody. I feel like here, uh, someone from your past is returning to your life. A better time for it because, um, you know, we're through the retrogrades and things. So I'm more positive about this reconciliation and giving your relationship a chance, Libras. Okay, so let's see. This is the Romance Angels deck, and I will be using the Mythical Tarot deck for the main read. Okay, so it's your spiritual path to give this relationship another chance, or um, you believe it's your spiritual path, or they believe, um, Libra, that it's their path, it's their, you know, this is what they want, this is what they're destined to do. And they could be communicating with you um, telepathically at the moment um, with these cards. Um, it is the Lionsgate from the 26th of July till the 12th of August, peaking on 8-8, Lionsgate. Um, so, yeah, it may be that they communicate around um, that time. If not, you'll be able to pick messages up from them telepathically here. Um, the thing is, somebody wants to reconcile here. They want to give this relationship a chance here. They could be working on themselves spiritually or you could be, okay? Could be a different race from you as well here. Meditation exactly what we need to do during Lionsgate. Meditation will bring answers for you guys, okay? Um, so if they are not in communication, I feel this is why it's telepathic, okay? So if you want messages from them, meditate, okay? If you want answers here, meditate. You need this um, time on your own. You needed this time on your own to see what it is you really want and what's really good for you and things like that. So somebody definitely wants to reconcile with you guys. Ace of Swords, they're going to communicate this. They, there's going to be a breakthrough here, um, either in you know their spirituality and things like that. Um, so, yeah, it's like they've had a major breakthrough with this Ace of Swords here. So communicating now after spending time alone that this is what they want, giving you clarity that this is the path they want to follow. They want to be with you. And I feel like you'll be following a very spiritual path if this is to resonate with you. Um, you may want to start meditating if you don't, um, but... I feel like you're already on a spiritual path here. Queen of Wands. Okay. So somebody needing to take actions. They're going to take action here. Um, I feel like what you need to do is let it happen. Okay. I don't feel like this is you needing to take action. If you're a cross watcher, um, it's then the Libra. It's still you. Who doesn't need to take action they need to take the action they need to bring the clarity they need to step forward with their truth um what they want and i feel like it's this i want to give this relationship a chance here i want to reconcile um let's be clear about things let's be honest what went on let's sort it out let's have a breakthrough here um if you're not sure on what you want to answer meditate on it enjoy this time alone learn about yourself okay um they're going to be very pulled towards you at this time 
um, with this Queen of Wands. So I feel like you will have cried tears over this person. Um, but for you, I feel like you have to let them be pulled towards you here. Um, be very clear with what it is that you want and be clear that you know they've hurt you before and you're not willing to accept that sort of hurt again so be clear on what it is you want so that it can come to you and you can decide clearly so if you do want to reconcile with somebody um be clear about that okay the world yeah so it seems like um, maybe you was crying over this cycle that closed down, but I feel like it's going to begin again. It's going to you're going to start a new cycle with this person. OK, um, they're going to communicate about wanting to give this relationship a chance. If you're out of communication with them, meditate, you'll be able to speak to them telepathically. But you're going to start a new cycle with this person. Action will be taken here during Leo season. OK, um, with this fire energy behind it, um, you'll get clarity through Lionsgate and um, you'll get the action. It'll be backed up by this fiery energy of Leo season. So you'll get the action here um, with the Queen of Wands death card that's because of the transformations you've been through the endings the new beginnings the changes okay so yeah i do feel like you know something came to an end here um but it wants to begin again with the world card okay um it will work if you've transformed and they've transformed energy can't be destroyed it can only be transformed here so i feel like the energy between you both has been transformed now so it's like going through this death um you know would have been very painful okay you would have cried um but it also you you will have taken action to change to transform the energy um so that means you would have gone on this spiritual journey okay with this death card, you would have gone into um, the dark night of the soul, um, learnt to meditate, come to the spiritual side of things here, this being your spiritual path, um, close down old ways, old cycles, and then action can be taken, clarity here, information can come in. What information? Reconciling, giving this a chance here. I feel like maybe... Um, if this sent you on this spiritual path here, um, it's changed you for the better, okay? So you will have changed for the better here. You will be um, now going through the process of not just allowing somebody back for, a, for the sake of being with somebody. You will have transformed that energy. You're like, I'm happy on my own. If you can bring in these positive vibes here i'm happy to start this new cycle with you um if not like i'm happy to use this ace of swords to end this for good okay end this for good if you know they can't bring in this positive energy to your energy field here so yeah wonderful so there's been you've been through a transformation a lot of changes here but for the better growing pains this is my growing pains card um three of swords sorry the sun changing position all day long driving me crazy Let's see if we can do this. so yeah th this is the three of swords so it's not to keep you down okay um, it's about growing from this pain. You know, she's grown wings here. Maybe you're not quite over this yet because one of them's still on the floor. But, you know, you're getting up, you're getting there. And this is why, you know, this time alone and this meditation is very good for you to transform this energy while we're coming towards um, this lion's gate, this breakthrough here. Because you want, you know, you don't want this... Um, Three of Swords energy, you want it to have transformed into something beautiful, okay? Something positive here. This new beginnings, somebody actually taking action, somebody speaking their truth, being clear with you, being honest with you. That's what, how you want this to change into things here, okay? 
So it will have been a noticeable transformation, a noticeable spiritual path, an awakening that you um, have come on to the Ten of Cups. Okay, so I understand why you would have cried with Three of Swords and um, this Queen of Wands, um, you know, it would have been like heartbreak and the ending of your emotional stability but this lets me know that you're heading towards an outcome you desire because this ten of cups here is about two people coming together and here there's um like um a family situation where um you know they're all together here so i do believe that you're heading towards your desired outcome here you will be starting to feel much more happier if you've transformed the energy. You're in a much better place now. Eight of Cups. So you could find that, you know, like I said, you're ready to walk away if this person hasn't changed their energy. You're now at a better place, okay? Um, also with the Eight of Cups, when we leave with the Eight of Cups, it's like we leave in search of something. So they often come back. That's why we have the reconciliation card. Um, but again, I feel like, you know, this is where you may feel like they left for good or they could feel you've left for good um, because of so much emotion was spilled. But here I feel like in this Eight of Cups, it's more like, you're ready to walk away from anything that's no longer serving you. And that's because you've transformed here. You're ready to come out the phoenix. So, yeah, you're ready to take action and leave anything behind that isn't serving you. That's because this is the guardian card. And that's because now, like, um, you trust the divine. You know, you trust that you're divinely guarded and protected and loved um, you know, you're learning to love yourself, all of you with this, you know, even the parts that don't look so great. It's like learning to love yourself here and being accepting of yourself. So um, here I feel like, you know, you may be ready to take chances again, but chances that are like a calculated risk, like, is this um, going to be worth it? No, I'll walk away then. I'm not going to invest in this if it's not worth my time. I'll walk away with this Eight of Cups. Um, but I also believe that you trust yourself enough to know that, um, you know, when you should leave, you will leave. If you are not at that stage, a tower moment may come in and the other person may leave you if you're not like fully transformed if you're not in a space of loving yourself if you haven't used this pain to grow um you may find that they have reconciled with you but they leave again if they reconciled with you during the retrograde you may find that they leave again okay i'm just saying because tens are about endings as well and you're being divinely protected so if they haven't changed an ending will come that's the information you're getting. Until you've closed down old cycles, and that doesn't mean completely ended it with somebody. It means you closed down those cycles that are not serving you there, okay? So let's see here. Strength. You've got to have this strength here, okay? Um, the strength to know when to walk away. The strength to love yourself when, you know, maybe everything feels like it's going wrong. You've got to realise this strength and tame those inner fears and like, OK, what if I never find somebody else? Why would I leave if, you know, I really love this person so much? I'm scared to leave. I'm scared to take action to leave. Um, if you feel like you don't have the strength, you've got to tame those inner demons there. OK, um, so if you reconciled with somebody who hurt you um but the energy between you guys hasn't changed hasn't transformed if you're not on this spiritual path here okay then you may find that this cycle you know it loops round again and it ends again maybe for good this time if you haven't done the work okay so guys good luck